Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, while we still have about 10 to 12 hours before the 6th anniversary Dual Dokkan Fest drops in-game, earlier this morning we got the official images leaked. Or, I don't know if it was leaked actually, it might have just been posted on an official website. But either way, we have the official images here. A big shout out to iSeriously on Twitter for uh, posting these. And uh, they are looking pretty pretty nice right now. I mean, of course we don't have the full banner, but we have at least half of these banners since both banners will feature 10 units and they're showing five per uh, banner image, right? And I guess the biggest reveal here is the new side unit with uh, each banner. And if you guys saw my prediction video from a couple days ago, I was pretty off about this because for the Goku banner, I was saying there's going to be a new max power Roshi, but I guess I wasn't completely wrong because we are getting a new free to play max power Master Roshi who's gonna Doken Awaken into an LR and most likely get an Extreme Z Awakening as well. So that's actually an even better result than what I wanted, you know? So I'm still happy about it. And uh, yeah, there is gonna be a new Ultimate Gohan. And then for the Vegeta banner, the side unit is gonna be a new Angel Golden Frieza, which I'm totally fine with, but in the prediction video, I was super convinced that we were gonna get a new Kaba, cause obviously there's that connection to Vegeta um, as his you know, master or mentor, and uh, we just haven't had a new Kaba in a long time. Like there's that free to play tech one, there's that support STR one, and I think that's it. I think there are only two Kaba cards in this game. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's all I can think of at this moment. So uh, yeah, I was hoping for a Kaba, but I'm okay with Frieza. There's still a chance that, you know, we get a new Kaba in like part two or something like that, right? So I'm not really too upset about it. And uh, yeah, the rest of the banners are pretty much what you would expect. We got four Dokkan Fest LRs per banner, at least. I mean, there could be more. There could be maybe four five in total if they want to throw in like the three year LR still. I don't really see that happening, but there's a chance. But at the very least, we got four Dokkan Festival exclusive LRs per banner. So with Goku, it's Fizz Tanks, it's LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and AGL Gohan, and of course the new Ultimate Gohan. And then for Vegeta, it's LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Int, Cell, and then the STR Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Super Vegito. So uh, yeah, these banners, very, very clean. Obviously, insane value for both of them. Um, I'm expecting the rest of the banner to not be that exciting, but still decent, right? So uh, at this point, I'm going to say that the other five units for Goku's banner are probably going to be Ultra Instinct Goku, like the Int one, the old one. Um, Int Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, that transforms into Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Int Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And then uh, probably Tech Hit and STR Jiren, just to follow the T.O.P. trend, right? So um, yeah, those guys of course are kind of old, but they just make sense to me on the banner, especially the Int Ultra Instinct Goku. Like he's not really that useful anymore, but hey, it's the Ultra Instinct Goku banner and he's definitely going to be on there. And then for the Vegeta banner... Um, outside of these guys, I'm gonna say probably the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta that becomes Majin Vegeta, and then uh, the Tech Exchange Boo, Fizz, Android 17, um, who else? Int Angel Golden Frieza. Oh, of course, the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta that becomes Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. So, yeah, that's my new and revised. Uh, predictions for these banners obviously they're going to be dropping very soon so uh, we're going to find out whether i'm right you know in a couple hours or you know in like 12 hours or so uh, the stream is happening in about um from the time i post this video probably like nine or ten hours i will be going live with my boy Toonrami and jinro once again i know i've said it a lot but i just want to make sure that everybody's aware it's going to be a really good time so come join us for the uh, live reaction slash viewing party and uh, yeah, guys, that is going to be today's video. There's not too much else to really go off of. Like, we don't have any details. We don't have any animations. Uh, we don't know what this Gohan does. We don't know what the Frieza does. I'm sure all of this will be revealed 
either in the stream or the data download, of course, that happens somewhere around the stream, hopefully before, not after, but if it happens before, then it is what it is. And um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the look of these banners so far. I mean, obviously, the design is great. Like, these banners just visually look really, really good. And the arts, like the SSR arts for Goku and Vegeta are phenomenal. Like, I think they actually look better than the TUR arts and possibly even the LRs. Um, I'm not too sure, but I like the poses a lot, you know what I mean? But uh, of course, more importantly, what do you think about the featured units? You know, are you disappointed by what you see? Are you surprised that these guys, the Gohan and the Frieza, are the new side units? And uh, are you happy with the other featured units too? Of course, I also want to hear your banner predictions. So if you guys have any guesses for the five other units that are going to be featured on the banner, then feel free to put that in the comments as well. And we can see who gets the closest, right, when the banners actually drop. And uh, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really looking forward to the stream tonight. Hope to see you guys there. And then after the stream ends, we're gonna be live to do some summons whenever the banner drops. It's probably gonna be right after the stream, but if there's a delay, then we can just chill for a little bit and then, you know, jump into the summons whenever it actually happens, right? Oh, before I forget, we did learn that uh, both the Goku and the Vegeta will have revival skills, this new mechanic. And it's going to trigger when, of course, you get KO'd and then they revive and the active skill activates. But there are also going to be additional conditions you have to meet before you can actually make use of the revival skills. So, for example, it might be like you have to take, you know, 10 hits first and then get KO'd or a certain number of turns have to have passed or something to that effect. OK, so, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, as always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.